Okay, let's switch gears up a little bit here and start doing some uh, texturing. In the materials box over here, I can just uh, double click to create a new texture. And uh, let's drop this onto our logo. Let's uh, double click again to open the material editor. And to kick things off, we just wanna create that uh, simple red texture you see on the logo and the text. And then later we can create the scratching effect you see on the edges and the sort of fire effect or hot edge effect that you see around the border. So back to cinema, I wanna go to the color channel. And uh, normally I might have just uh, gone here and set the color to a type of red so something like this and that's how I would have gotten the color and then maybe we can go to the specular uh, make this narrower and taller so we get that nice glossy kind of look with the highlight on the corners and then maybe we could even use uh, a small amount of reflection and uh, that would be a very simple way of creating the texture and uh, it might look okay in some cases but i'm going to do this uh, slightly differently whenever i create metallic textures i like to use what's called the lumas shader uh, it's a special type of shader which you can find by going to texture and uh, this is all in the color channel go to effects and lumas and then we can go in here, set the color to a similar kind of red, click OK. And I want to set the illumination to 100%. And then we have these three specular channels that we can control individually. And it gives us a much better looking uh, highlight on the edges. So that's the reason I would use the Lumas shader here instead of just the standard color. You just have a little bit more control and you can really fine tune what the texture looks like. In the first specular here, I'm just going to set the size to be a little bit larger. Let's set this to 1. And uh, we might not see much of a difference here, but later when we start using some lights, uh, we'll start to see how this reacts with the rest of the scene. I'm going to switch off the standard specular over here just because we don't need it to compound with the current settings we have built into the Lumas shader. And I think I'm also going to make this red a bit darker. So something like this. And this is the result. When you render, you're going to see this nice glossy edge. And uh, this is going to look even better when we start using some lights. But that's how you create that uh, basic red texture. Tune into the next lesson when we're going to start looking at these other channels and creating that distressed metal look.